Today I'm going to talk about my new little miracle motor I call it, Eddie's Toy Number 7. No bearings. I got the idea was for when I made this little gadget here, you see. I don't know if you can see it or not, but the shaft is spinning very merrily. It's just 10 bearings, two aluminum tubes and one brass tube. The reason for the brass tube is they didn't have any more aluminum tubes. <laughs> Anyway, that the principle of that thing is the principle of my new uh, little pulse motor that I'm going to show you today. As you can see here, I'll just grab this here off there. This uh, hmm, this guy it takes very very little thrust in that direction to hold it on there. It takes very little little pressure to hold it on there. Okay, now we'll get over to this guy. This is my pride and joy here, <laughs> I call it. You can note, take a look at the end of this shaft and you'll see there's no bearing, no nothing. What you're seeing in here is the uh, inside of this impeller right here, right there. And the same on the other end. On the other end I have a plastic plate and at the end of the shaft I have a small ball bearing that is thrusting against that plate. Very little, very little pressure though, very little pressure. Uh, it turns very readily. This uh, armature in the center here, the wooden block if you call it that, it's got eight little magnets glued to it as you can see. And the uh, outer support blocks have each got eight magnets screwed to it with quarter inch deck screws evenly spaced on each end. On each end of the shaft there's two magnets on the shaft, two there, and two over in here on the shaft. Them magnets are being repelled very strongly by the eight magnets surrounding them. The uh, armature here was drilled for a press fit on the shaft. The uh, magnets themselves, they're also a press fit on the shaft whole trick to the thing was getting them located exactly right in relation to the uh, eight outer ring magnets. That's what causes it to thrust one way or the other. If you get them just right, which I finally managed to do, it will thrust just barely against this plate here. And the whole thing stays there and stays fairly stable. Uh, to ensure they will stay there, I cut uh, plastic tubing that fits over the shaft snugly and put one here, one on this side of the magnet, one on this side of the magnet to, to ensure everything would stay in place properly. This is uh, nothing but a, a small uh, <coughs> wire wound magnet out of an old relay. That works quite well. I'm going to go ahead and fire her up, see what we get here. There she goes. She goes a little bit unstable as she picks up speed. Then it gets through the critical zone and, and, and really gets nice and nice and smooth. There she's running with little or no friction, very tiny bit of friction against that uh, steel ball bearing there that's rubbing against that plate. I think this is a pretty neat little device. <laughs> it only draws one tenth of one amp as far as current is concerned, which is almost nothing for electrical power to run it because there's no friction. I started out with some pretty crude things, but this one's very nice. I'm hoping sometime to build one all out of clear plastic. So it can be seen very readily on how it works. The electronics are right over here. Cords in the way here a little bit. The, uh, right there, there's a transistor right there. Remember the, remember the uh, read switch up here is triggering the transistor and the transistor in turn is energizing this coil here, which is attracting the next magnet coming around on the armature. Works pretty darn nice. Pretty neat. I have it on the regulator. I can slow it way down. 
where I can speed it up. You can hear it maybe slowing down. You can just barely hear it run. Some pretty neat things about it. You can tip it upside down and it don't care. The magnets, the magnets will hold that thing no matter where I put it. It'll hold it right there. The magnets are holding that uh, shaft and armature in place very, very nicely. I didn't think I didn't know if I'd be able to do that because looking at this one here, it's it's not real stable. <laughs> It bounces around real easy if you look at it from a distance here. And, uh, but when you throw eight magnets around each end, that really locks her in there. Pretty nice. Pretty neat. Well, that's my big, big magic one. I don't know what I'll be coming up with next. Not something I hope. Let me know what you think. Have a good day.